Welcome to Board Game Casual Design Diaries, a series focusing on content for aspiring board game designers and things I'm working on as a designer myself. Today I wanted to show you a simple idea I used in one of my earlier games, double-sided cards. These cards are from the same game that I talked about briefly in the dice making episode. I think the last working title was Throws of Battle or something like that. I'll put that out there in case I end up referring to this game again. And as a note, none of this art is my art. This is all just stuff I use temporarily off the web for prototyping. As part of this game, you're recruiting different warriors or warrior classes, really. For example, mercenaries, infantry, champions, archers, etc. And when acquiring a new warrior type, you get not only the dice, but the character cards that you put next to your tableau as a reference. Now these cards don't have a back. They never need to be shuffled or hidden in a deck. There isn't any action that calls for you to flip the card over, etc. They are always face up as kind of a player aid. And as I was putting in the placeholder imagery to represent these warrior classes, I thought, well, why not make these cards double-sided with the same stats, same class, but a different image to let players choose whichever image they like better or relate to more? So for example, I've got this champion card here, but there's no reason a champion has to be male. And so on this side, I've got a female version of the same champion card. The stats are the same, the character is the same. It makes no difference to the gameplay whatsoever. In fact, no one else at the table cares which side I have up. They just know that the red dice represents the champion. The only thing this affects is the storytelling in the player's head hopefully allowing them to get more immersed in the game. Which may seem insignificant, but actually can mean a lot. I'm sure we've all been in a game that maybe started off on the wrong foot because we were dealt a character that we didn't like the looks of and couldn't relate to. You know, maybe I purposely picked to play as green, which then I realized, oh man, I have to play as Grandma Frog? Now I can't imagine I'm the first to come up with this idea. I'm sure there must be games out there that are using something like this or a double-sided player board. Please let me know in the comments if you know of any. But I think this is a great way to add diversity to your game without forcing it down people's throats that could turn some players off. And it doesn't have to be about gender. Maybe you like this side because the character has dreadlocks or this side because they've got a cool hat. As an example, I know that the latest version of Libertalia, Winds of Galecrest, is a bit polarizing because of the anthropomorphic characters. Some people are really turned off by them. Now, I don't know if double-sided cards would work in that game mechanically, but imagine hypothetically if you had an option to play on the side with all human characters and not risk turning people away from your game simply because of the art. Getting to choose a bit of meaningless personalization can be fun. I think that's why anything with create a character is so popular. I hope this gives you some inspiration or an idea to keep in your back pocket in your design. If you're deeper into the stages of developing your game and you're looking for ways to be more inclusive, maybe double-sided character cards or double-sided player boards will work for you. Thanks for watching Design Diaries and thank you for liking and subscribing. Happy designing, happy playtesting, and I'll see you next time here on Board Game Casual.